Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome to episode 2 of Hard West 2. Quick recap, episode 1, we took a little adventure on this train. We went for a heist. The train, after getting cleared, turned out to be... not quite what we expected. Let me put it that way. We go into a tunnel, and in the tunnel something happens. Turns out we're on the ghost train. The ghost train manned by this man, called Mammon. And after clearing it, he offers us a deal. We'll be allowed to leave and even get the ghost train if we win at a hand of poker. I am. <laughs> you really think you could outcheat me? Five of a kind. After playing poker against this man, we lose because he gets five of a kind, and he steals our souls, which was part of the bargain. A little while later, we managed to at least escape with the two of us. This is myself and Flynn. We find an abandoned farm and uh, some thumping from underground. Turns out it's this man called Old Man Bill. He's gonna have a bit of a beef with the devil called Mammon. And he tells us that he has some equipment stashed in the form of a uh, oh, gun, another coach gun and some dynamite. We go to his stash, we pick up his stuff and now we're ready for episode two. Okay, now that we have his gear, let's go and have a look at the rest of the world. Um, we know about these two buildings, we've checked these out, and I'm really interested to see where the rest of my guys are. What we got here? Red Cross. Suddenly we've stumbled upon a scene so gruesome, so irrational, that even I cursed silently. Looking down, we could see a patch of blood-soaked snow surrounding a flimsy cross. Someone nailed a naked man to it and then left him to die in the cold. I got off my horse and took a step closer. Flynn didn't follow. This man had been dead for days, laughed out in the weather. Animals had gotten to him, leaving behind only a scrawny, skeletal scape, shape with a mess of dried guts spilt between his legs. Ignoring the stench, I've kicked the snow and guts around the corpse in search of anything useful. I noticed something stuck inside the corpse's chest cavity. Could it be... playing cards? Suddenly the corpse jerked up, twisted its neck and snapped at me with its teeth at my face. Okay. I can shoot him. Uh, I can see if Flynn has any ideas or I can ask if he's a friend of Bill's. Bill? Unclear whether this guy is a friend of Bill's. The undead thing kept thrashing about, hoping to attack us, but the nails and the ropes held tight. Bill says he's nothing like me, no memories, no free will, only hunger. Probably revived when the ghost train passed nearby, damned fool. Set our own revenant, then took a gun and kept shooting until the undead's head was gone. Only then it stopped moving. Without the head, the undead was now less lively. Now it was simply a matter of courage. G Jin says, I'll get the cards. Nine of spades, king of diamonds, queen of club. Okay. All of these give you additional perks. Uh, it does cost you some health. I can have Jin take the cards. I'm oh, sorry, I can have Flynn take the cards. Which, of course, are the same cards. Do I need her to be fast? No. Flynn can beam around the map. Uh, I'm gonna get the cards to Flynn. Jin, sorry. As I reached between the ribs, the headless corpse jerked and I, fell into, I felt its sharp, broken bones jab my hand. At least I managed to get hold of the cards. So I gained a nine of spades, which is gonna give me more bullseye chance. The king of diamonds for more maximum luck and the queen of clubs for plus four speed. Very good. Now, let's have a look. I can change the cards for these characters. By adding cards to a character's hand, you can improve their statistics. For example, select Jin and put the King of Diamonds in his hand to increase his luck. So, with this, he gets more luck. Um, ah, look at that. This is also going to unlock traits. Because if you have a pair, you have... Those with loaded guns. When Jin is in bravado, he has plus one weapon damage. 
Shadow Barrage 3 requires four of a kind. Check raise, five of a kind. If the Jin has half cover, he gains plus 10% bullseye chance. Wow. So, getting the right cards on the right character is very interesting. Sadly, at the moment, I don't really have any additional cards per character. And if I'm not mistaken, you can just adjust these as you see fit. Um, your speed is 16, it's 18, it's 12. Let's get you the speed card. That means the Queen of Clubs. And the last one is the Nine of Spades, which is more bullseye chance. I don't really think... That Flynn's going to be too useful with that, because she has the shotgun. So I'm going to give this card to Jin for now. Oh, Alright, carry on. There's a chest over there. I want to have a look at that. Train station. As we came closer to the station, we saw a single train standing on a sidetrack, and a sad round man with his hands in his pockets standing on the wooden platform. You're new, huh? Got in right before the avalanche? What avalanche? The eastern pass is blocked. No trains, no roads, nothing. We're trapped here in this damned valley. In the town? Damn rich, he's playing sheriff again. I heard they found them a wanted man, a native. They're gonna hang him today. Big guy? Wearing an army jacket? Don't know. Never wanted to have anything to do with this. Fair enough. That might be one of our guys. Let's check out Boomtown. It's a small town, probably set up in the last decade or so. Rail tracks end at a station nearby the town. A hanging scaffolding has been built at the town square. The town folk are hardened by years of living at the very frontier of Hard West. Well, can't be more than a decade. Let's have a look. Uh oh, laughing deer's there. Laughing deer's there. We're going to have to break him out. One of our guys. So Jin is slightly wounded. Flynn's okay. And old man Bill is perfectly healthy. Perfectly happy, perfectly healthy. Um, get laughing deer's equipment. Side objective. That's going to give me a coyote tooth necklace. Which means plus 15 bullseye chance. That's a lot. And kill all enemies on the square in the first round. Rewarding with dynamites. You have my attention. So, we're going to break out one of our guys. Let's see how the town is set up. Everybody on the town square needs to die in one go. That's Four enough. guys? We'll be taking that gentleman with us now. Thank you. Look at what crawled out from under the snow, guys. Another lost soul in Boomtown. Pleasure's all mine, Sheriff. See, this friend of yours is wanted in at least four states for murdering some big, fat, and famous chief. Did you know about this? <laughs> I don't care. He's mine. Give him back, now. You heard that, jackass boys? Did that sound like a threat to you? You sure did sound like a threat to me. <laughs> Do we have time for this? <laughs> I'm asking you... One last time. Say pretty please. Fuck off. Flynn? On it, boss. <laughs> Very nice. Witchcraft! Shoot them! Kill them all! I see a perfectly grouped mob of enemies. Each posse member has a unique skill. Jin can shoot bullets that pass through cover and walls. And that's going to be potentially useful. So I can wipe out three guys potentially in one go, but I also have this. Can't do, amigo. Oh, you want me to do this? This is part of the tutorial. Okay, fine. If I kill at least one, I'm going to get my action points back. So we'll take the shot. Shadow swap. Flynn's Shadow Swap allows her to change places with the foes and allies. This unstable witchcraft does a small amount of damage to her and the target. Let's do this. Choose a Shadow Step. Let's mix it and you want me to Shadow Step this Rifleman. 
Or this guy. This guy. Guys on elevation are fairly dangerous because they allow for additional accuracy. That cost her one action point. More skills unlock as you progress through Heart West. Right. Okay. Need someone dead. You don't have action skills yet. Uh, neither do you. Okay, your gun only does six damage. That means if you shoot this man, you gain your action points back. This one. I'm trying to save the dynamite unless I absolutely have to use it. You can shoot this guy. Yeah. That was smooth. Uh, you can shoot this guy. I love this bravado system. Who wants to join me in the afterlife? <laughs> That's not quite going to work. We still got the man up there. That's a 75% shot. We have Laughing Deer, who can engage this rifleman. That should be one walk and two attacks. Let's go. Or is that two? That'd be bad. Ah, oh, shit. It's four damage. Not enough. Okay. So how do I need to play this? I still have Flynn. Yeah. She has two actions. That means she can shoot with either the shotgun or with the copper. The copper only does five damage. So not a kill. You can kill this one. Very nice. Uh, I can shoot this guy. Bravado returned. I can shoot this guy once, twice. No, once. I only got enough action points for one. This guy still needs to go. That's a lot of action points. I think I misplayed it over here with Laughing Deer. But I also have Bill. Uh, this is going to cost me one action point for six base damage. So you're going to do that and you're going to shoot the other guys. Toss the dynamite. Now we're going to go boom, boom. This Done. Was a bad Two. We don't have enough action points to kill him, but I still have Flynn. She's out of range, so What's it's going to have to play? be down to Jin to deal with this guy. Eyes on the Job done. Kill all enemies in the square in the first round. Oh, yeah. Check. Very nice. Where's your gear, friend? In there? No, let's kill Sheriff Richie. Where's the gear? Here. All right. Now, I'm assuming that these gentlemen are not going to sit idly by. They're probably going to come for me. Let's see if I can find some high cover. This is high cover. It's going to cost me three action points. I don't have great visibility here. These guys are just carrying pistols, so they'll not be terribly dangerous. Will do. At least not from range, I'm hoping. One. Um, I'm going to move you here as well. Let me get old man Bill. Uh, Take your time. Bill only has his pistol. It can trick shot. Let's get Bill a little closer to where we need him to go. Okay, enemy's turn. Seems like I can't get any more dead. Let's see about you. Do I'm gonna use shadow swap on a rifleman? I'm still here. Alright. I can do that. Because that would allow the rifleman to beam to here. And her to beam to there. So let's do that. I would probably pick the gunman if it was up to me. But the game wants me to do this. As part of the tutorial probably. So that cost him one hit point, And it means that at sh a point blank range I can instantly execute this guy. Very nice. Uh, that's not a great shot yet. I want Laughing Gear to go get his own I shit. You, and I'll spill your guts to show you all the colors of the wind. Wow, okay. An aggressive man. Um, yeah, you're going to need to take this guy out. That's four hit points. Your weapon does five. Shoot. Let's dance. Down. Bravado. Let's see. These guys are a 0% chance to hit. They were too well concealed. 
We still got two up there. Nothing in the graveyard currently. Mr. Bill. Bill's our tank with 22 hit points. He can take a beating. And I think he's going to have to because there's not a ton of cover here. Now let's move you all the way up to there. Overwatch doesn't exist in this game, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, this is low cover, low cover, high cover. Lynn can shoot once. I could use luck. There's only a 75%. I don't have enough luck. Missed him. Shit. Okay, we're gonna move into cover then. Sure. Jin. I don't have enough guys to advance. I only got three. I'm facing four enemies. With potentially fairly high damage output. So let's not be too aggressive. Jin to there. And uh, I'll hunker down. Heads down, as this game calls it. Rifleman missed. Gunman. Missed. Oh, there's two more. What the fuck? That's a thing? Getting... Okay. So you can improvise cover. Interesting. There's a lot more of these guys in here than I was expecting. This is... Very interesting for an explosive blast. Mess me. Okay, so we got a ton of guys in there. Bill. You got a 50 50, you got a 25. No. I don't like any of those shots. This is going to cost me two action points. This tree has options, this has even better options. Because it's a perfect flanking maneuver on the whole group. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. That's for my Shadow Walker. Uh, I quite like this position. Oh, I can't see him. Yeah. Okay, Jen. Move All up. Right. I need eyes All on that right. guy on the roof. Yeah, that one. Oh crap, I should have put him over there. Whoa! Okay. Hold your horse. No 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 no. You. Just point. Laughing deer. Let's Holla. go. Our melee man's gonna have to wait a while. I don't really have a task for him yet. Now, there's so many shooters that I'm really not too confident about pushing in just yet. So let's hold. I can shadow swap if I really want to. Which I currently do not. Let's go here and go heads down. And then I can shadow swap with one of the guys. Pull him out here. And either Jin or uh, Laughing Deer can take a shot at him. No, 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 no. Hunker down. Missed. Stick him, boys. What's your plan then? Ooh. Who's that foolish? Miss. There's the deputy. Oh, he's flanking. This one's mine. He's flanking my flanker. Rifleman going up. There's three in that building now. Potentially four? Wow. Okay. Miss me. Hit. Yeah. He's down to half. Alright. If I were to move... This is going to cost me one action point. I could toss it here. But it wouldn't kill him. We need more than that. Okay, let's go on with the plan. Let's Flynn. Shadow swap. I could shadow swap with the guy here. And then instantly eliminate that guy. 
as well as put me in fairly decent cover. I cannot do this all the time because it's going to cost me quite a lot of hit points in the long run. One down. I suppose you don't have a shot at this guy. Would have been too perfect. You got a great shot at that guy though. Go. Let's not take the shot just yet. Jen. I afraid of death. I've sent him a lot of business over the years. Take the shot. One down. Um. Yeah, we got the guy over there. If I move here, that's going to refund my action points if I kill him. Can't quite see the man. That's problematic. Because I need two action points to shoot. Okay, fine. Can we toss this? We can. Use the dynamite. That's two of them on four hit points only. Let's have you go heads down. Because you cannot shoot, you cannot do anything useful anymore. Ready to roll. Flynn. I can wound this man. But it's only going to be half hit points. That might give me enough. Let's get this over. Lest I get old Bill unflanked. So he's potentially going to be fucked by the time that he gets there. It's going to cost me one. I can shoot for... Yeah. He's going to take a hit. That's for sure. If I move him here, I'm going to get super flanked by these two guys. Ready, like always. Laughing deer. I don't exactly have any medical equipment, so I can't heal them up very well. I could charge. But no, I don't have enough action points for that. Um, let's move you up. It'd be great if I could eliminate these two gunmen, and these two are going to have to wait. It's too, too many hit points. Heads down. I think we're going to have to be a little bit more conservative here. I think that's the safer way to go. I got this one. Take this shot. This potentially has options, because if these guys come out of the church, they're definitely going to get shot at. But right now, over here, I'm in relative safety. Not great. Yeah, it's a quarter... whatever. Missed him. Yeah, that was about to be expected, I suppose. That's a bat move. Uh-oh. Missed. Missed. A lot of hit points walking around, that's for sure. Missed. That's the deputy. I hope the sheriff himself doesn't come out yet. He's doing double moves, triple moves even. Wow! That's really deadly. Okay, so Just if you want to be useful, now would be the right time. Because I can go here right. and kill one. <laughs> That's one. Are you mad? And I can go here. I've been run out of much kill two. Um, I can go here and hit him twice. I can go. Yeah, I can go here and hit him twice. Where the fuck are you? There. Die! One. This guy is going on a killing spree. Okay, I got all my action points back. So that means that I have quite some options. I really want to get rid of these two shooters up here. I am not a fan. You need to be in line of sight, right? 
Yeah. I could beam laughing deer up there. But... Not sure if that's going to be terribly useful. It's going to cost him a hit point as well. I need shots on those guys. It's a 75 only. It's better than what I have now. Take the shot. One down. Now I might be able to move. Take a shot at this guy. Or my friend up there. Oh, he's pretty deep in cover, this rifleman. Hmm. This is too many hit points. I'm going to have to work together with some of them. I could have him run up and hit him twice. But I need him to be softened up. So if I move here with Bill, I can take this shot. Yeah, I'll get him. Can we get to the killing already? Yeah, we can get to the killing. Don't worry, we're about to begin. Boom. That's you done. So now there's the guy up there, and there's the guy over there. This. If I send Laughing Deer in now, it's going to kill him. I don't want to lose this character. Done and done. So you're going to have to hold. Laughing... Oh, sorry, Old Man Bill can take a shot. Jin, it's sad that Overwatch is not a thing. Um, if I were to put her... Oh, this cost me two action points. Crap. It's going to cost me one. If I were to put her here and then beam F Jin up, that could work. Start. Go. This gives me options. This whole I'm going to swap places with you thing. Because now I can shadow swap with Jin. Jin, retaining his action points, can still get a shot off. Oh, potentially two. I should have moved him over th slightly different. Oh, well. Uh, Jin? No, 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 dude. No. Done and done. What's the plan? Jin. Get the kill. Easy money. Beautiful. Okay. So now we need to make sure we get into a favorable position to deal with this deputy. Let's go here. Let's prepare for the next shot. Your turn. That's one move, one action. It's just gonna guess it. Yeah. All right. Shadow barrage. No range. Okay. Takes me two action points. Does six damage. Bill, you can get to his flank, right? Because that means you can do six damage. You, you can get over there and deal waste my time on four. Tears. That's not a whole lot. Hmm. Easy. Yeah, we're going to go here. We're going to take the shot. Shit. And like always. Laughing Deer is not going to be very useful One yet. But if I start stacking all the effects I have left, I might be able to pull this off. Because that's six damage right there. And now, if I use the witch... Oh crap, you're out of view. Oh shit. Okay, we're going to have to use Laughing Deer then. That's two action points there. And then you're going to hit the guy and you're going to get your action points refunded. Impossible. Done. Job done. 
Okay. Hello. Is there anyone else after the head of my pal? I think not. That's what I thought. <laughs> Hell no. No, these guys know exactly what the deal is. Six turns, 20 kills, Bravado Streak, five. Quite nice. Got some cash, got a new gun, a Widowmaker, five damage. I get a kidney beans, sorry, three cans of kidney beans, explosives, and the Coyote Tooth Necklace, which is going to be useful when I want to deal more bullseye damage. Quite a nice mission. After the shootout, I visited the trader and I patched up my people. We found a side quest which contained a uh, track down the trader objective. This means I'm going to have to find a trader and you can do that by following trails. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's have a look at these tracks and see where this leads. Because the trader is a wanted man. Wagons of the greedy shopkeeper must have gone over, must have been overloaded with supplies that they left deep tracks in the snow. The trail was following the road southeast, straight towards the mountain pass, leading them out of the valley. Okay. We're lost, aren't we? Cursed tree. The view is both dreadful and fascinating. Ghastly white bark and twisted branches festooned with dozens of bone fetishes. My spine tingled with every time I glanced at this grotesque caricature of a tree. As we approached the tree, we noticed two distressed lumberjacks standing underneath. Whoever you are, you better stay away from this place. This tree's cursed. What happened? My son, he he was a young man, a mere spring chicken when we got here. And now just look at him, god damn it. The lumberjack took us to a man who claimed he was his son, an old coot staring silently at his arthritis deformed hands. This morning they'd found the tree and noticed a shiny amulet hanging on one of the top branches. Unable to climb the tree or sorry, unable to climb that high, they decided to cut the whole thing down. The son got to work, but quickly lost all his vigor. Turned out that every strike of the axe put a year on him. He'd cut himself down too. Wow. You greedy bastards. That's what you get for messing with the Shadow Dance witchcraft. That tree is a harbinger of doom. Okay. Can we unfuck that thing? No fucking way, says Flynn. That's some crazy evil shit. <laughs> Who are the Shadow Dancers? Those people are my people. The leader of the movement called our people to go into the shadows and wage war against the foreign invaders until they were destroyed or driven away. The ones who answers Makka, Maka's call make up the shadow dance. They say they're the last hope in that desperate fight. If I try to reach it... Ooh, can I send somebody up there? I need... Talisman of the Witch on any of them. Okay, I don't have that. Let's just leave it. Alright. Let's continue following this trail because I think we're on the right path to get the trader. In the distance we spied a flimsy cross half buried by the avalanche. It's a woman... The crucified woman's eyes flew open and she let out a horrifying howl of pain. She's alive. Give her something to drink. Flynn held the flash to the old woman's cracked lips so she could sip the spirits. From up close I could see frost on her eyelashes. She gasped and moaned and then thanked Flynn. Her voice was as worn and as thin as the soles of a poor man's shoes. Who did this? A man, just a man. He made me watch while he killed Stan as he took out his eyes. He was about to end me too. Then the avalanche came, crushed me good. Crushed him too, dead I hope. I hung on, I ate snow, I don't know how long. Is she like... Beyond rescue? Put her down? She's not an animal. We need to dig her up. Yeah. Take her to... The dock? He's right. She's done. It's the kindest thing to do. Okay, um, so I can side with Flynn, 
I can say, Bill, you're gonna have to be quick about it. You're gonna have to kill him, her, uh, or I can have Deer and her. I'm gonna s try and save her. I hope you're not courting me, Carter. But that was. She's now a companion. Then I'll do it. You hear? Don't you dare touch her. The old woman died with a soft sigh. We left the place with a weight on our shoulders. I'd seen evil before, but this? I hope the killer really did die under that avalanche, and I hope it hurt. Right. Here's our avalanche. Whoa. Yeah, we're not getting through there. A huge mountain of snow and rocks blocks the passage. The tracks, the road, and the frozen river all vanish under the snow. Search the area. We found something. The peddler and his wagons were gone, but near the avalanche we found tracks made by a cart and some horses. It looked like the wagons and the riders had gone northwest along the river. Okay. Northwest along the river, but is there any way up there? I can't feel the cold, but looking at you makes me shiver. Like, did they turn around? The, the riders must have crossed the river the here. River right here. We're get Oh, There's the camp. Freezing over. That's what we're looking for. Let's have a chat. The camp consists of a few wagons, a number of tents, and a small campfire. From afar, it was difficult to say if these were the carts we were after, or how many folk we'd need to face them. Uh, we need to face to the claim them. Scout it. We found a hidden spot from which we could take a good look at the camp. The shopkeeper and his supplies were there, guarded by a group of outlaws. They had numbers by a few folks, so we strike fast and hard to even the odds. And how about we at least try to parley first? Um, not so sure. I want to spread my loyalty points around a little bit, so I'm thinking I'm going to side with a deer here. Of course, I'm right. Lead the way. Engage combat. As for the weapons, I want to have laughing deer with a gun. If he's so inclined. I can also have him with his amulet. Affects melee type, so that's useful for him. This is going to give me six hit points if I can zoom it. Uh, so let's make sure that everybody's carrying that. I don't think I need the pickaxe at the moment. So we should be fine. Let's clear out this bandits camp. Let's have a look at what these guys are up to. Because this shopkeeper apparently had a deal with the sheriff that I just gunned down. And uh, he was being a bit of a dick to the town folk. So now it's up to us to put a stop to that. Okay. So I'm seeing a 15, a 15, a 15, a 15, a 5, and a 10. I can take this guy very quickly. I can take this guy very quickly. If this is like one move and one shot. Um... Yeah? If I can get Flynn close enough, her buckshot can do a fuck ton of damage. Like from here, I might be able to hit all of them. Yeah. Okay. So I need to get somebody over there. And he's quite nice for a finisher. Yeah. If I send him there, and then he's going to be on Flint's position. It needs to be somebody with range. Yeah. So, Jin. Okay, you're going to go here. Bill, you look like a job have done. We're going to beam to Jin Carter's position. Now we're going to take your shotgun out for a spin. We're gonna hit all four of these. I'll try. Didn't exactly kill any of them yet, but now I have options because now I can take one, two. I could take a whole bunch down and probably one go. Can one of you tell one. me if I smell? Oh, that's... Wow. Two. Three. Isn't that bad. Um, I could shoot him. I need somebody to finish them off. Laughing Deer can get there. You can deal one blow. That's it. Or I can swap him to the pistol. Yeah, let's get you here. 
Gonna do five damage and then six with Bill. Shoot. The play? You still have a move, but not that much. Take the shotgunner. Who wants to join me in the afterlife? Take this guy. And now we're essentially out of points. So that was a very fairly nice opening. Oh, I need to kill them all in the first round? Can I restart? Retry. Let's try this again. There has to be a better way. Because if this is an objective, I can very quickly take them. I want to have a try. Let's see. Those 15s need quite a bit of attention. What if I use the shotgun after I've softened them up? I don't have the dynamite, but I do have a shadow barrage. Which will also hit everybody. Yeah, I probably should have done that. Because, like, from here, I can probably hit these three in a row. Mm. Can one of you tell me if I smell? Like that. That's a start. Now he's out of action points. So now I can shadow swap. Ideally. See me shuffle. And I might be able to hit them all. Lynn? Smart. No, fuck. There goes that. Retry. That was not great. I shouldn't have moved. I should have shot. Accidental click. Sadly, I don't have the dynamite anymore. Okay, let's do this again. Jin opens up. Can one of you tell me if I smell? Bill, um, you look like a job half done. Can I take this guy? Very nice. If I take this guy, I also get my action points refunded. Hmm. Yeah. Flynn, how far can you walk? Because if you walk up to there, how many can you hit? A few. Let's do it. Steady. Because now I might yeah. be able to use you look like you Jin want bullet, with his. Oh, it's a five shooter. Let's swap. Take this guy. Eyes on the Kill. That's Mr. Carter to you. <laughs> There's still one over there. They're all nicely formed up. Bill. You do six damage. So you could shoot you could walk and shoot. I'm not sure how to get all these guys in one go. What's the play? I get my Shadow Barrage refunded. So I could use it like this, but it wouldn't kill them. I need to do at least 9 damage to him. 9 damage to him. And 5 damage to him. 5 damage I can do. 6 even. Because if I take this shot now, I get my actions refunded again. There we go. Um, I can then move here and take the shot at this guy. Here I go. Surprise, suckers! What? Oh, not for that, but for the pistol, yes. Show there. Then I can swap back to my uh, rifle. This will not kill them. So I'm gonna need to do something a little different. We need to involve Laughing Deer. Who can run and who can hit him once. Ideally, I would use Laughing Deer to finish people off. So I would need you. Oh, this is... Take your time. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to pull this off. I probably don't have the right tactics. I might not have the right gear. We're going to see how far we can get. No! That was a melee attack. <laughs> For eight damage. Okay, it's a start. Take the shot. Easy money. This guy is a pistol air, so he's not that problematic. Shotgunner. Oh, sorry, it's a shotgunner. In that case, it is fairly problematic. Because he could really fuck me up. Because I got my guys in my group. Okay, um, I'm going to spread you guys out. You're going to move there. 
I'm gonna swap weapons. And you're gonna shoot this shotgunner. There's probably a better way to use this. This thing also says I have options. Yeah. Who's that foolish? I'm gonna make some new hope. Coming. Okay, laughing deer, take this guy. Done. You can't quite kill this guy. It's gonna take you one move and then two hits. It's not enough. But you have options. You can soften him up for him. Hit. Ready to roll. Flynn does four damage. Just point. Now at this point I should have enough if I just use Laughing Deer. Set me loose. Now it is very important that you don't lose too many hit points in these encounters because you don't get them back. So that makes sense. Nah, I should have been able to fix this. Provisions and some cash. Now, the store was offering a $40 reward for if I kill the guys and get the stuff back. So I'll be able to do both and get all the stuff, all the, the missions completed. So let's do that. We make it back to the store and we should be able to get our reward. We're back with the wanted little trader. Splendid! Allow me to fetch our new deputy sheriff. Once the scoundrel's in his hands, I'll pay the bounty. Plus 80. Thank you very kindly. When asked about the goods, we proudly showed the recovered crates. The shopkeeper was delighted and quickly paid us the bonus. So now I've got 80 bucks. Um, these rifles are really quite nice. They do 8 damage. Shotguns are okay. Mm, this is a double barrel, a Hawkeye rifle. The beauty is a trick shot's artist dream. She can bounce the bullets. So you get a trick shot with a rifle. Huh. I just need a lot more money. Okay. Exit. Alright. Well, there's plenty more to discover. And we'll do that in a future episode. Thank you guys for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. And be sure to join me for the next. See you guys then.